TikTok, and Instagram. I'm not on Facebook today. Um, yeah, I know I normally don't get into the social media shenanigans or whatever's going on, but I'm going to address it. And the sad part about it is we have a gentleman that's well known on a radio station. His name has been brought up several times. He's did things to females that's unreal. And yes, I'm going to say his name, Charlemagne the God. I'm sick of him. I've been sick of him since my sister meet your ex. Charlemagne has did so much stuff and then y'all condone this. This this is pitiful. To sit up here and have a conversation about calling women big backs and he's a black man and y'all still allow him to be on that radio station in New York wherever he's at. Y'all need to find a way to write letters to get his ass out of there. Y'all have never seen me come on a live like this. Because it, what y'all don't understand is, is when people do stuff like this, it not just affects the content creator or country caterers, it affects the people that's in their circle, in their arena. And I've had several coaches that have been targeted on this app, and it just doesn't make any sense. I've had several friends, content creators that have been targeted on this app, and then people turn around, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. I'm going to put it out there. Y'all say P.A. Lil' Bit said the shit. I'm going to put it out there. Yeah, y'all go back and talk about people behind their goddamn back. Y'all mess as hell. Y'all like drama? I'm going to give you drama today. Because it's ridiculous. What y'all doing? Y'all sitting there calling women big backs. That's sad. That is sad, especially coming from an African-American man. Charlemagne God, you ought to be shaming your damn self. You ought to really be shaming yourself. And like I say... Y'all can flag my page. I don't give a shit. Because I'm not a big content creator. I'm just going to put it out there. I've never come on social media for beef. I don't come for smoke. But y'all sit y'all sit down. Y'all had these sidebar conversation, Texting and all this other shit to the back. Talking about people. Then y'all going to people like, Oh, I didn't say that. Yeah, your ass did. Yes, you did. And you know y'all did. Because they recording y'all ass on, on these TikTok and Instagram. They recording y'all all the time. So don't say you didn't say it. I go in so many lives in the morning and I just don't go in a lot of rooms anymore because of the lies and the mess that people they carry on in these rooms. It's not the content creator that's doing it. It's the people that's in their face that's doing it. And I pay heavy subscriptions to a lot of people on this app. Hey, Slim. Uh, you know, to go in the room to be comfortable and to be happy. But to go in the room and hear that one of our own is sitting there calling women Big backs, and then you got another woman that's sending threats to people, and people sending threats to each other. Come on, man! Why y'all wonder why the hell we ain't gonna never get to one place we need to be as black people? We're not gonna never get there because of this. This is ridiculous. I just, I'm just not understanding that y'all sit here and y'all let this guy Charlemagne the God sit here and talk about our women. He sits here and talk about a black woman. I'm quite sure his mother is a black woman. And she ought to be shaming of herself for letting him do that on a radio show. It's ridiculous. Because if my child was a, 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 a spokesman on a radio uh, talk show like he is, my kid wouldn't, wouldn't do that. <laughs> they couldn't come to my house after that. Because you're addressing me and I'm a black woman. And I think it's very sad that we plan to this narrative you know, like I said, you know, I was called Oliver, I was called uh, Seely, but that didn't bother me because it was an inside joke. But there were certain people that on the apps that got offended because I was called Seely. And like I told them, don't worry about it, I'm going to handle it myself. And it was it was just a joke on one of the shows that we did. Uh, we were having fun and uh, this person, me and them talked about it. Because there were some other women that in the room got offended because of Celia's history and of her getting gaped and all this other stuff. So, therefore, they felt that it was not appropriate to call me Celia. But she didn't bother me. You know, it was in a joke. It was an inside joke. I got it. But I'm going to address that you're not going to play with my coaches and my mentors on here. So, if my page get flagged or taken down, that's fine. I'll create another one. That doesn't bother me. 
But for y'all to go at people that's doing stuff for us and making us better. In the last past two years, my content has gotten way better. I get a lot of views. I'm making a lot of money on this social media. I'm not going to tell you what I'm making because it's not your business. But I'm making more money than when I first started. And y'all know for me to come on an Instagram live, a Facebook live, and a TikTok live, that I'm pushed and pissed. Because y'all have never seen me come out of character like this. Those that know me and even talk to me on the phone know I don't come out of character like that. But when you start going at people that's trying to do the work for us, it's sad. Because if they leave this social media, what are we going to do then? We're not going to have nobody to help us get our content up, get our numbers up, get our views up. And uh, be able to battle with different people across the globe. And it's very sad. But for this young man, Charlemagne the God, I hope somebody tag him and tell him I'm talking about his ass. And I'm talking about him. Because he ought to be shaming himself. He ought to really be shaming his damn self. Because he sits up there and talk about black women. And his mother is black. And it's sad. Y'all need to protest like y'all like y'all did for Stephen A. Y'all y'all try to get Stephen A. taken off his show. Get him taken off the show. I bet you Stephen A. won't play with Carmen Brown no more. Cause bust like that was my friend too, Carmen Brown. I'm friends with a lot of famous people that y'all don't know that I don't discuss because it's not nobody's business. But I'm throwing those names out there because I want y'all to know. Yes, I deal with a lot of famous people. I just don't put it out there because it's nobody's business. But Charlemagne the God. You ought to be shaming yourself. Y'all need to write something or call into these stations. Or y'all call in for anything else. Y'all need to call into this radio station where Charlemagne the God is and make them re make them retract what he said about be women being big backs. That's another hit against our community for other cultures to see the foolishness that we, we that's being tolerated. And yes, my coaches may get on me for coming on the live. Because I'm jeopardizing my social media. I run several functional businesses that's making good money. But for me to see one of my coaches, this happened to? Nah, we're not finna go, we're not finna ride like that. Y'all report other people's pages. Report, report that person's page. They need to be brought down because you're not gonna threaten nobody. Y'all see him, y'all dox people information. I don't give a shit you can find on my social security number. Because if you find on my social security number, damn, you better pay my damn bills too. If you want to dox me, pay my damn bills. I owe $30,000 in student loans. You want to pay them? You sure can pay them. I got three children here that need to be fed. Y'all can feed, they, feed them too. They grown, but y'all can feed them too. Y'all can pay their car notes, pay car insurance, whatever the hell y'all want to pay for them. Matter of fact, y'all can donate some money to me. If y'all really that concerned, then I'm going off. Donate some money. I don't care. Because it needs to stop. Because we don't defend our women and men in this community. Who's going to defend us? Nobody. We're going to be shit out of luck. So, like I said, I'm not staying on here long. This is a live that I probably would have never had dropped. But to see one of my coaches, this is done to. And knowing damn well that this person is putting it out there. And I mean putting it out there. Giving a lot of free information. A lot of free information. That they can be charging thousands and thousands of dollars for that we'll never get. And before y'all sit up there and talk shit on people, go do your research on people. And some people in this live may know who I'm talking about. She's doing a very goddamn good job. Even though, like I say, she, she has to charge for her classes. Some things she gives away free when she does her live. She can't just give everything away free. You can't run a, a successful business like that. You can't. But for those that come in her lives, uh, the gems that she be dropping, huh? guess what? Wouldn't be surprised if you see me uh, renting cars. And I'm not saying that to throw shade, but I'm just saying there's techniques that be discussed in certain lives that you better get your, your, your pen and paper and write down what they're talking about. Because, see, they be throwing these gems out here that y'all be missing. But at the same time, y'all get on the phone. Girl, let me tell you. Such and such is on the show, girl. And she thinks she all that. Yeah, she all that. And, and, and a bag of chips, God damn it, because I'm backing them. And everybody else backing them. And it's sad that y'all sit up there and y'all talk about people. And then y'all backdoor say, I didn't say that. 
and they got you recorded. I see it all the time. And it's the same people that do the mess. I'm watching them in these lives. Yeah, you said it. Yes, you did because I heard the recording that you did say it. And like I said, they talk about me on the backside. I really don't give a shit. Because y'all don't, don't, don't pay my bills here. Mr. Branch pays my bills at this house. And he pertain really don't like me to be on social media. But I do what I got to do and I hustle what I got to hustle to make my money. And I've never ever put a live out like this before. So you know it must have run me the wrong way. Because I'm sick of it and I'm fed, I'm fed up with it by these guys sitting up here talking about our women like we some dogs. And talk about our men like they some dogs. As a collective, when we got more time to do bullshit, we, sh we should be running some, some multi-billion dollar companies around here. And we should have a whole bunch of us sitting on the damn uh, board. Making some money. So y'all have never seen me come out of character till today. And for me to see the hurt that I saw, even though they say they're not hurt, but it's hurtful when you're sitting up there calling people and talking about their size and you sit up there and say that this person is this type of way and that type of way. You know, this TikTok shit and, and, and Instagram and, and, and YouTube has really rubbed me the wrong goddamn way. I've walked away for it a couple of times. But I stay because it's family that's here. And, you know, that that's the only way. Like when I travel across 50 states, I want to be able to know somebody in each state and each county. That way, if something happens to me, I can send a DM on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook and say, hey, this little bit PA, uh, we, we may not be following each other, but hey, I got a situation going on or I'm in a, a, a troubled situation where I need some help. That's the kind of community y'all need to be rolling in instead of rolling in bullshit. And like I say, my page might be taken down. My YouTube page is taken down. I think somebody reported my YouTube page, which I really didn't give a damn because I was able to get uh, Google on the phone. I got my YouTube page back up. And I'm not going to create no damn multiple pages. I'm not going to do it. These are the pages that I have for my business. I have my Instagram hacked. I brought that back up to standards where it should be, and I'm going to keep it moving. But for y'all to sit up here and let Charlemagne and the God sit up here and talk about these women like a dog and then turn around and he gaped somebody at a young age and y'all still allowed him. Yeah, he might have did probation for it. But he should have got more, more than that for that. Especially messing with a child. But I love y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all. I just want to vent. And I normally don't do this on social media. But I'm, let, I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all. Leave my big back sisters alone. Because if I got to come back out on the live again, it's not going to be nothing nice. I will start calling pages out. I don't give a shit. I'll never give a damn if I'm ever back on social media again. I will start calling y'all asses out. Because sometimes I see the recordings that y'all be talking about people. And I'm going to put your ass on front street. Because I'm going to nip it in the bud real quick. Because see, y'all kick here, he, he. Oh, I didn't say that, girl. Yeah, you did. Yes, your ass did. Because y'all messy as hell. And the same people that y'all talk to, they be sitting there screen recording while you're on the phone and recording the conversations if y'all didn't know it. But like I said, I'm not going to hold y'all. And I want to give, like I say, salute to those that I support and they support me back. And y'all be blessed. Y'all have a nice day. But like I said, stay off my big back sisters. Be blessed. Peace.